Okay, Susan, I'm gonna put you on hold, and then also you, Bob, are gonna go on hold. Janet, can you go on hold? And Trevor, please hold all of my calls while Claudia is in here. And if you could send Claudia in, that would be great. Also, hold all of Alexis's calls. And Trevor, don't fuck this up for us. Thank you so much. Claudia! Hi. Hi. Oh, so punctual, always. Have a seat. <laughs> oh, can we get you anything? I'm good, thank you. Uh, you guys both look so great, and I can see you haven't aged a day in 10 years. Oh, I remember you're quick with the compliments. I just, I want to do as well this time as I did the last time. That's right. This is your second decade performance review. <laughs> Happy 20th birthday. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Whimsical. We have fun. We, we have, have fun. fun. <laughs> anyway, the last time we saw you, I seem to remember you were 10 years old. You had pigtails and braces and you wanted to be a fashion designer. Yeah. And I've got to say in the last 10 years, we've been very impressed with you. I mean, you've done some great work. You cook three nights a week, you go to the gym every morning, you volunteered at a series of charitable organizations over the past few years. You even rescued a blind dog. I mean, who really rescued who? <sighs> oh, everything is nearly perfect. There's just one little insy branchy thing that we feel could be worked on. Uh, please tell me, I'm open to improvement. How do I put, it's, it's gender, Claudia. Bingo. <laughs> what? We just feel like you're really binary about it. <laughs> what does that mean? It says here that when you were 11 years old, you told Tessa Gorgensen, Gorgensen? Jorgensen. Gorgensen. Gorgensen? Gorgensen. Gorgensen. Tessa Gorgensen, that she had a bit of a mustache and she should shave it off, even though it's perfectly natural for young women to develop facial hair. I was just trying to help out. Was that not the right thing to say? Here's a list of some other things you can say when you see someone with facial hair. Alexis? Uh, you, you didn't say anything. Exactly. I had no idea. When you were 15, Sean Jackson showed up to figure skating tryouts and you told him he was in the wrong place and that hockey tryouts were the next day. Well, yeah, why would he try out for figure skating? He wanted to learn a triple axel. Okay. What Alexis is trying to say is that figure skating isn't an inherently gendered activity. Anyone can enjoy it. I, I figured, you know, some things are for girls and some things are for boys. And that's where you went wrong. Huh. Last year, you asked your coworker, Florence Dern, if her baby was a boy or a girl. Yeah, I couldn't tell. Why did you need to know? I don't understand the question. Why did you need to know? I wanted to get her baby a gift. Were you going to get the baby a circumcision? Maybe like a onesie? I don't understand what's happening. That's because it's very confusing. Okay. And it says here that an hour ago, you told your boyfriend you couldn't shave with his razor because it was a men's razor? I mean, Claudia, why are we gendering razors? Uh, and just so you know, you don't always have to cook dinner for your boyfriend. Unless you love cooking, then chop, 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 you chop queen. Well, I'm, he can't cook me dinner. I mean, he's not a chef. You're not a chef. Well, yeah, but I'm the girl. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm in journalism school and I hate cooking. Write that down! I mean, we made up all these rules, right? There's no look or activity or razor or household chore that belongs to any gender. There's not even two genders, baby. Put that in the book. Exactly, because everything's a spectrum. I mean, how can we define all of human existence by whatever's underneath someone's clothes? I did not think we'd be able to jump ahead to advance today, but she is handling this really well. <sighs> I feel so free. And you know, it is perfectly okay for you to continue performing the gender that you feel most comfortable with. I think I will do that. You know, because I really like my long hair. I do, and I like wearing heels. And I love the color pink. Don't change a thing. <sighs> you know what, Claudia, this has been very productive. You've always been one of our favorites. <laughs> And with how fast you learned today, I mean, your third decade performance review can't come soon enough. Well, I just, I want to thank you guys for giving me the chance to improve myself. I won't let you guys down. <laughs> oh, she's off. She is going. Where are you off to, Claudia? To apologize to Tessica Jensen. I think I'm in love with her. <gasps> I 
love when they come in here ready to grow and change. Sometimes you just need to give them the chance to learn. Trevor, get in here. Maybe you're not a piece of shit. What do you mean you haven't been holding the calls? You're fired.